Fala galera, estamos ao vivo, estamos ao vivo, estamos ao vivo e vamos ver novidades sobre Alone in the Dark. Na verdade não estamos ao vivo, esse vídeo é gravado, dá o like e a gente vai ver tudo a respeito do novo trailer de Alone in the Dark. Tá lá no canal da Playstation, a gente vai reproduzir aqui pra vocês verem também. Terrifying. I've never been so aware of what I look like. Because I have a uh, uh, opposite body dysmorphia, I think I'm far more handsome and then I see myself in the mirror and I'm like, God damn. So, yeah, it's annoying. Pra quem não sabe, esse cara tá presente justamente lá no Stranger Things, né, gente? O David Harbour. To see them render it so accurately. Detective. Igual, hein? I was wondering when you were going to show up. Pardon me, excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. <laughs> I mean, spent a lot of time. No, I know they did, and they shouldn't. They should just use the template of Brad Pitt's face and then... We're good to go, but they had to get it right. I just finished a, a movie which was based on a video Harvard game, Harvard. and I had this kind of newfound appreciation for video games, having not played a lot of them in my own life, um, and just really kind of getting an insight into how big the gaming world is and the level of craftsmanship that goes into creating these games wait so no. when the offer came mm. through to be in an alone in the dark i said that yes immediately excuse me do you know where i can find jeremy hartwood what i'm most drawn to is the the different characters because they are all so so different so fully fleshed out and i'm always just so fascinated about their dialogue what are you doing i told you not to lose sight of the girl Don't you worry, Mags. I'll find that little rascal. Who are you people? You really do feel like when Emily meets a new character, the world is completely changed. Ruth. Ruth Talon. Nice to meet you. David Harbour is kind of a gruff detective, and he's like searching for something, and you know, he's. Uh, he's hard boiled, but he's got some humor to him and stuff like that. He's a bit of a um, trope or a type, and I like that. And I like the world and sort of where, how he's exploring this insanity um, amidst all this horror and stuff. I liked all those aspects. Oh, she is just peachy, detective. You want to be able to sort of ride a balanced line of being able to play a character in a certain way, but also that it has, it doesn't have too many specifics so that someone will distance themselves from that character. You want them to be able to invest in this person. Well, I guess it's also trying to make sure that there isn't like one tone throughout. Like, yeah, you know it's a horror, but then you don't want her to be one level gente. throughout the whole game. You know, like, yes, there is the, the kind of scary element, but then she still has to go on a journey and discover different things, and there should still be room to breathe and have a funny moment or a sarcastic moment or um, a moment of discovery. Um, so it's just trying to really kind of keep all those other beats alive amongst the um, the kind of darkness of it all, I guess, is how I felt anyway. And she is kind of, you know, she, there's a lot of fear within her and a lot of speculation and um, curiosity and, I guess, dread, intrigue. Like, there's a, there's a lot about her that is um, kind of on edge. Detective, I really need you to get yourself together. I can't do this alone. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely play it. I'll probably play it as uh, Emily. The cinematics will probably be better, but it'll be those moments in the gameplay where... You know, you're running around trying to solve something, and as I say, I'm pretty terrible at it. And then you just hear, I can't do that, I can't do that, I can't do that. <laughs> that I'll be very annoyed with my own voice. I can't leave. I got a job to do. I can't leave. I got a job to do. I can't leave. I got a job to do. It's really, really cool. I mean, like, never, ever would I think that I would have the opportunity to do something like this, you know? It's so incredible to be able to kind of step out of what you usually do and explore something new and um, kind of challenge yourself in a in a new way. Um, so it's it's been amazing. Alone in the Dark, pré-venda aí disponível em 20 de março de 2024, TAD. Nordic, pra quem não sabe, Alone in the Dark é um dos jogos pioneiros aí no general de survival horror veio junto com a leva de Resident Evil, de grandes jogos dos anos 90, que fizeram sucesso, e agora a gente vai ter o David Harbour, justamente lá do do 
do nosso querido Stranger Things, série que é muito bem conceituada. A Jodie Comer vai também atuar nesse jogo. Tá bem interessante. Acho que vai ser uma, uma atualização de uma grande franquia para Playstation 5, que vocês vão poder acompanhar aí como um game exclusivo. E para continuar acompanhando esses vídeos que a gente tem feito por aqui, gente, não esquece de dar o seu like aqui no canal, de se inscrever para a gente bater 4 mil inscritos e de se tornar membro também para ganhar o nosso curso. Meus queridos e minhas queridas, muito obrigado pela presença de todos vocês. E da longa e próspera, gente. Cuidem dos seus, cuidem de todos. Até mais, gente. Tchau, tchau.